Okay, now we're coming to the outer curve and it's a little bit different. You still, the right hand position is still thumb underneath, fingers on top. But with the left hand, you're going to change the angle of the hand so that you're holding at a right angle and you're spreading your fingers. So it's a little awkward, but you can do it. So your finger pads are down and your fingers are spread. Your right hand, you still have that same position, fingers on top, thumb underneath, and this time you have a right angle. Hold on the left hand. So, so forward. And you're going to be spinning your left hand to retain that curve. It's not possible to do the entire curve in one shot, so just keep spinning your left hand and repositioning to hold the fabric, always stopping and using your needle down position. which retains the tension on the seam and allows you to reposition your hands without the edges of the seam becoming uneven. Now when you get to the end, estimate a quarter of an inch away and I want you to pick up your needle and turn and sew the opposite direction. So essentially you're going to go all the way around the S-curve sampler. So same thing, right hand, fingers on top, thumb underneath, fingers close to the cut edge, and retain the curve, don't change the shape of the curve, and continue.